Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Today we're going to go over a scripture that's one of my very favorites and we're going to go over it in three, uh, excuse me, five translations. And the scripture is Galatians 5, 16. The purpose of this is that most likely the next number of um, live stories are going to be, hi Miss Pat, and hello other, other person, um, are going to be mainly scripture because I can extrapolate all day long, but what really changes all of us is the word of God. So we're going to take this from five translations, and this is what helped me the most is the word of God. So again, it's Galatians 5, 16, and this one is King James, and then I'm going to do Amplified. I'll tell you which ones I'm going to do each time, so it should be rather short. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. And I am going to explain real quick. The flesh doesn't just mean body. Flesh is including mind, will, thoughts, emotions, feelings, imaginations, um, personality, and body. So keep that in mind when you hear the word flesh from the Amplified. But I say, walk and live habitually in the Holy Spirit, responsive to and controlled by and guided by the Spirit. Then you will certainly not gratify the cravings and desires of the flesh, which is the human nature without God. Here comes in the CEV. If you are guided by the Holy Spirit, you won't obey your selfish desires. NLT. So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. And last but not least, this is the Mirror Bible. Hi, Heidi. And this is the Mirror Translation with notes. It's my favorite. I conclude, let spirit be the dominant influence in your daily walk and see how it, the spirit, defeats the cravings of the flesh. Spirit is satisfied by the love law, the revelation of grace. Flesh craves to prove and gratify itself by the do-it-yourself law. Faith, Sarah, faith defeats flesh. So the reason why we're going to do these scriptures is because we talk about it all the time, about using different translations. And the Lord said, why don't you just start doing it? Just start doing it. I don't know anyone else that's doing that, and I'm just going to start doing it. And so the Lord's going to tell me the scripture we're going to do. And then that's what we're going to do. And he's going to tell me what translations, because the thing is, it's the word of God that transforms us. And this is an area that I could not do on my own. I tried and tried and tried. And it wasn't until I let the word of God transform me and it changed my inner, which then changed my flesh, which changed my thinking, changed my feelings. I, w I wasn't controlled by my feelings. And I, I could hear the spirit of God because of the word of God. It's miraculous. But I couldn't, I exhausted all the willpower I possibly had. And then the spirit took over. And so that's, I hope and pray that most people don't get to rock bottom before they let the spirit of God transform their lives. But sometimes that's what it is. So we'll see what the Lord has for next time. Have a great rest of the weekend. And we'll see you in the morning on Periscope for my dad's um, God's way of success. And then in a couple of days on Instagram. Okay, I love you all. Talk soon. Bye-bye.